What's up, YouTube fans? Today we're going to be unboxing the Magic Square MSO2 EX Light of Peace, their metallic or painted version of Optimus Prime. So this is the second version of a masterpiece scale Optimus Prime. I did look at the unpainted version, um, and I actually really liked the robot and vehicle mode, but my biggest complaint was the lack of paint lack of materials. This one apparently fixes some of those issues. So I'm excited to look at this. I haven't even opened it. Here's the back of the box. A little truck. Nice foil writing. It actually has their Weibo address there. Weibo MS Toy. And that's really it. I do think this box is very attractive. I really like that. So let's get this open. I, I am looking forward to this one. They did change the packaging. So apparently they had enough breakages the first time around that they did fix the packaging so that these smokestacks won't break. So that's good news. Let's take a look at this. This is new, by the way, so the original did not come with all these accessories. So these are pretty much all new, so you get his backpack, jetpack. This is unpainted, by the way. You get the new head sculpt. This is painted. It looks like it's fully painted. The blue, the silver, the eyes. The eyes do look a little bit far apart, but it's a cool head sculpt. Pretty nice. Uh, these we did get with the original. These are the, the adapters for the trailer for the hitch. All right, and we get our collector's card. They changed it. They give you this kind of rainbow style look. And there's the back with the tech specs. It's interesting they changed the card. <laughs> I would have thought they'd leave it the same. Just for money saving purposes. Uh, this looks the same. They did change the number here, but instructions look similar. So I'm not going to waste some time on that. Let's get this open. And like I said, I was excited to take a look at this. Because my main complaint was the paint. Here's the gun. This appears to be just... Uh, does it have paint? It looks like it might have some paint on it, so it's got a little bit of a sheen to it. Hard to detect, especially on camera, but it's got a little bit of a sheen. This is the same as the translucent orange. And the moment of truth is this guy. Okay. So right away, out of the box, it feels completely different from the original. You've got weight down here in the bottom. There's die cast here. You can see it. Um, but he definitely feels heavier, more hefty, more sturdy right out of the box. The paint does look really good. You can see kind of the sheen of that paint. It's like a metallic flecked red. The white here is just a flat white, flat white on the waist. Yellow paint there. Uh, these might be unpainted. So it's, I, I made a mistake there. But this looks like uh, it's got a sheen to it. Now I can't tell, is it, I got a little bit of red paint right here. Looks like that'll come off. Um, this is painted, but I can't tell if it's that new like colored plastic where they inject the paint into the plastic or if it's actually painted. Either way, it looks good. The legs are painted. That looks really nice, that blue. There's the backpack that looks painted. It really does look good, I have to say that. And it feels a lot more solid. So, I'm gonna do a review on this guy. I'm probably not gonna do another Versus. I don't know, we'll see if I'll do another one. I did do a Versus with the Transform Element Optimus Prime. And now that it's painted, maybe that would change things. So, let's see. So as far as the joints, they do feel about the same as before. Good tolerances. Got ratchets there on the legs. Let's see if this comes apart. No, so now it doesn't come apart like it did on the first one. It definitely feels more solid. So I do think they've improved it in, in a couple of ways. I'll know more once I transform it because I can actually see the materials. Um, but overall, it is feeling like a better built thing. And the paint definitely changes your first impression, right? It just looks better right out the box. So 
that's it for this unboxing. I'll get this guy checked out. So stay tuned for the review and we'll see you then.